Brain injury cases really fall into two different categories. Uh, the causes of brain injury are, are always the same. They, cu they cut across the board. You have serious automobile accidents. There's the question not only of how the accident happened, how the automobile accident happened, but also whether the vehicle was properly designed to withstand the impact in an automobile accident. Faulty seat belts, faulty seats, uh, the design of the vehicle itself to, uh, to, to sustain the forces in a rollover, for example, um, the fact that the vehicle may not be stable and is prone to rollover, all of those things can lead to a brain injury. Slip and falls constantly cause brain injuries. Um, and uh, work-related accidents where people are struck for one reason or, uh, or another on a job, uh, they're the primary causes of brain injury. But as I said, there's two type, types. One is obvious. It's obvious that there's been a serious open head wound, what's known as a, uh, an open uh, head injury, where the skull is fractured, um, and in long admissions to the hospital right from the very beginning, uh, many of the symptoms of serious traumatic brain injury from the onset, such as seizures, spasticity, inability to walk, all of these things are seen in this type of open brain injury. The second kind of case is, is, is challenging to prove, but is, uh, is very widespread and causes very, very serious problems, and that's the closed head injury. Um, and over the years, we've done uh, both kinds of cases, and I take a lot of pride in the uh, putting together, and as does our firm, the evidence to prove a closed head injury. Because what happens is, over time, the family, the friends, begin to appreciate after the accident that there has been very significant changes, and they're not going away. Changes in personality, changes in memory, changes in speech, changes in behavior, uh, all of these, uh, impulsivity, they see changes in the person, and they can't explain them, but they relate them all back to the accident, and they occur over time. And working with the doctors, the neurologists, the neuropsychologists, the psychologists, the speech therapists, and the rehab uh, workers, the, the physical therapists and the occupational therapists, you put together the evidence, the little pieces of the case to establish and prove that there is a brain injury. And we work with the doctors who, who work with us on these cases and the other health professionals to put together the evidence in these kinds of cases. It's difficult work, it's challenging work, but it's important work for the victims and their families.